Hey, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone that rule well. You know, peace and salutations to all the Akim out there in the four corners, teaching the truth and sincerity. This is Tasha Rakwai Amath. And the brother Iraq. Coming at you with a quick lesson, Lord's willingness, edifying unto the hopeful elect. You know, um, uh, been pondering over this all day, you know, through the spirit and party, how about Shimi you know, uh, and, and everybody's going to get judged. Everybody's going to, uh, have to sit in the judgment seat before you how about Shimi Spirit. You know, hey, pull it. Kong, let's go ahead and, you know, get it rolling. This is, get uh, it in. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 10, right, going into that judgment seat. It says, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. So, Yahweh Shemiah Ashai is watching our every move, all right? But he's also watching uh, uh, the nation of Israel. He's watching the nation of Esau. He's watching the nation of Moab and so on, all right? Because everybody on the planet Earth will have to see, sit before the judgment seat that held by Shimei mm -hmm. All right? And you you can't go in there with a friend. It's going to be you and Yahweh Shai Mashiach. All right? And he's not a respecter of person. You know, Yahweh by Shimei Shai is not a respecter of person. Yep. You got some? Yeah, I got another one. Go ahead. <laughs> this is uh, Obadiah chapter 1, verse 15. It says, For the day of Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine head. Uh, thine own head. Upon thine own head. All right, verse 16. Huh. It says, For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, right, talking about the nation of Israel, it says, So shall all the heathen then drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down. And they shall be as though they had not been. Kind, because whenever we went down as a nation, mm -hmm. you know, they were lifted up as a nation. Esau said, what, raise it, raise it, even from the foundation thereof, right? Yeah. All right, so, and, and they were in mirth. They were in their merry state whenever we was in our hell. So, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shemiah uh, Shai, the, the pendulum is going to be switched right side up. Because uh, uh, here, the world has been upside down on everything, all right? Yes. Uh, Baba Kushai, you can dive into that Psalms um, 80, 83, you know, just just to edify more on this lesson. Okay, kind. This is uh, Psalms 83. Start at the top. Cuts. Start at the top. All right. Psalms 83, verse 1. It says, Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace. And be not still, O God. Con, it says, keep not thy silence, O Yahweh by Shimei Shai. So this is a prayer. You know, we are begging Yahweh by Shimei Shai not to keep silence uh, uh, as he has seen our downfall, you know, which has been so long without fruit. You know, because we can't prophesy. We can't do the righteous acts. All right? We can't praise Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You know, even though we went off, we went off to cause all this to, to occur. But still, like, you got it. Fine. It says, for lo, verse 2, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. So, you can break it down. Con, you know, thine enemies going into all the other nations. All right? And that's still, that's a, that's a basic concept that most Jake still doesn't understand. All these other nations hate you, Jake. All right, they're your enemies. All right, and, and history proves that. All right, their their confederacy with Esau Edom proves that. And I, and, and this chapter uh, breaks that down. You know what I mean? But uh, that, you know, I'll keep going. Con, I I I got a precept. Con. Um. Uh, this is Ecclesiasticus, uh, chapter twelve. Uh. So like it. It's the Psalms, <laughs> mm -hmm. chapter 139, verse 21. Mm -hmm. uh, un unless you're closer. Uh, 
I might have got it. I'm here. Oh, you there? Yep. Psalms chapter 139, verse 20. Start, start at verse 20, Bible Kushai. Psalms 139 and 20. For they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do I not hate them, O Yahweh, that hate thee? And am and am not I grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. And so they are your enemies. <laughs> and uh, whenever you read uh, Baba Kusha, start at 19. Uh, you know, because it's... It... Yep, Psalms 139 and 19. It says, Surely thou wilt slay the wicked. O Yehowbash and Shai, depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. And then that bloody men right there is talking about Esau. Right. All right? Because Esau is translucent where his blood shows forth through his skin. So he's not white. He's not holier than thou. He's he's a so so called he's a <clears throat> self proclaimed white man is an Edomite according to the scriptures. Right. All right? And that is your enemy. And I was going to pull that in. Um, uh, Sirach uh, 12 where it says never trust thine enemy right. verse 10 right. so like it this is uh, Sirach chapter 12 verse 10 it says never trust thine enemy for like his iron rusteth so is his wickedness though, thou, though he humble himself and go crouching yet take good heed uh, and beware of of him, and thou shalt uh, be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. Mm -hmm. So, so Esau, even though he want to come up and say, "Hey, buddy, hey, partner, hey, pal," you know that is your enemy. That is that is your true enemy because he has done everything against Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. Hey, you can go to Obadiah. Mm -hmm. Obadiah goes into it. You know. Get it? Hey, come on, Baba Kusha. Okay. Right. You know, uh, Obadiah uh, 1 and 3. Come on. This is uh, Obadiah 1 and 3. It says, The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock, whose, in, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? And this is Esau, you know, uh, uh, talking about um uh well this is esau mentality. in his pride right right his mentality this is his mindset mm -hmm. all right and in his mindset you know he's he, he's boasting of himself above yahweh by shimmy al shai you right. know right esau thinks he's untouchable right mm -hmm. and and it's, and it's due primarily to, that, that's what's crazy about it the reason esau feels you know so confident is ultimately because of the, the, the you know, the, the blessing that he was given from Isaac, all right? The sword, you know, he's been given the sword, all right? He's been given access to, you know, spiritual wickedness, all right, on the left-hand side, and he thinks he's untouchable, yeah. all right? But, but you know, little does he know, you know, he, he he's fighting a losing battle. He's fighting a battle that he can't win. He's fighting prophecy, all yeah. right? And these prophecies are undefeated. That's right. You know? You know, um, here in Malachi chapter 1, verse 4, one more, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, it says, Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, uh, but we will re uh, return and build the desolate places. Uh, thus saith Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai of, uh, of Sabaoth. Mm -hmm. It says, uh, They shall build, but I will throw down. It says, And they. Uh, shall be called, uh, well, it's like it, and they sh shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh Shimei Al Shai hath indignation forever. Ooh. So that means there, there's there's no coming back for Esau, all right, mm. be because he has hated Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. Yahweh Shimei Al Shai has has had a mean eye towards him since the beginning. All right, but come back in Psalms 83. Come. This is um, I'll start at verse uh, two again. It says, "For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, 
and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. And, and it's not he's still doing that to this day, mm -hmm. all right? In the midst of our captivity, you know, uh, 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 Esau has has gone balls to the wall, you know, mm -hmm. to as, especially upon Jake, you know, even the head tribe of Judah, you know, keeping them in captivity, uh, uh, um, bondage for for a uh, over a dispensation of time, right? You know, um, and and then what he did to the Northern Kingdom, you know, what he did to Gad, what he did to Reuben, right. what he's doing, and 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 these things haven't stopped; right. they have been per perpetual. Right. Without end. Right. You got it. And not only not only has Esau done these things, but these other nations have, have directly benefited from what Esau Edom has done. Well you know what I mean? They they have they, you know, when you consider the inner cities, you know, when you consider, you know, the circumstances of the so called Negro, Latino and Native American, all right, all the businesses you know, uh, all the enterprise within the community is owned by, by heathen nations. Good. You know, why is that? You know, it's because they have made a confederacy with Esau Edom to keep you niggas in subjection. Keep you in sub subjection and to have a permanent bottom class. Right. All right? Right. So, so uh, 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 those nations that had one hour with the beast, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. they are the ones that have kept you on the bottom. That, you know, uh, uh, what's that... Um, what happened this year, or the begin, or or or, or, the, or the end of last year about them Asians, mm -hmm. you know that them um, Moabites they got a protective order for them. Oh right, right, right. You know, yep, yep. but Jake has been going through you know yep. hardcore bondage right. this whole time. No one will stand up for us, so we need how about Shimei Shai. That's right. All right, we don't need no other person because. You know, he that believeth in a man, you know, he is a fool. Right. All right? right? And that's in scripture. Mm -hmm. So, he that believeth in a man is a fool. So, if you believe that a man is g going to save you or redeem you from the captivity which Yahweh by Shemel Hashai has put you in, mm -hmm. you know, you are a fool. Yep. Trying to trust in somebody else to get you out of uh, your predicament. That's De Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 64. And no man shall buy you. No one's going to redeem you. Better yet, mm -hmm. just so I ain't speaking idle. Con, I got a precept too. One second, let me find it. Uh, this is Deuteronomy. Again, we can. Con, you got it? Con, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28. Uh, verse 64. So, page of study. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse. Yeah, pages stuck together. <laughs> verse 64 or 68, Salakia. It says, And how about Shimei Ashai shall bring thee into Egypt again? With ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, you know, thou shalt see it no more again. Uh, uh, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man's going to buy you, you know, uh, and, and that buyers to redeem, which we have already been redeemed through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Hashai through, uh, you, yeah, how Shai's blood, right. you know, and you you can, you can read about that in uh, that um, uh, uh, Isaiah chapter uh, fifty two verse four, mm -hmm. you know. But you got mm -hmm. it, so I can. I wanted to read uh, Bible Kishak, Can I read uh, Psalms eighty three in the uh, GNT? The first couple of verses. Uh, this is Psalms eighty three in the GNT. It says, "Oh God, keep. Uh, oh God, do not keep silent." Do not be still. Do not be quiet. Look, your enemies are in revolt, and those who hate you are rebelling. 
They are making secret plans against your people. They are plotting against those you protect, right? You know, and those secret plans, you know, are coming to light. You know what I mean? In the form of, you know, the so-called Illuminati, all right? These secret societies, all right? All these, you know, uh, underground, you know, brotherhoods and things of that nature. You know, when you really do digging on that, you know, it goes back to Esau Edom. But again, all right, Esau Edom has basically infiltrated, all right, uh, the whole entire earth. All right, and the kings of the earth um, have, like the, like the scriptures say, they committed fornication, all right, uh, with him. You know, they're, they're hand in hand, all right, and that's why they're going to be judged um, accordingly. You know, but let me keep going. It says, they are making secret plans against your people. They are plotting against those you protect. Come, they say, let us destroy their nation so that Israel will be forgotten forever. All right, and that's playing into the point. All right, that's there's nothing subtle about that, and that's that that's exactly what these nations are trying to do. They're trying to completely destroy you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, it's not a, it's not a coincidence. All right, the things that we're speaking about, it's not a damn coincidence, man. Huh. These people are trying to destroy you. You know, and here we are trying to tell you niggas that. All right, but but you know, <laughs> Jake gonna get it. No, you know, it's not for Jake at the end of the day. It's only for the elect. You know, mm -hmm. they will not hear thee because they are a stiff necked people. Right. You know? Right. Jake Jake is is gone. Right. You know? If man, if you knew, you know if you paid attention to what, you know, uh brothers been bringing out for years, mm -hmm. especially on Esau Edom, that is your enemy. That is the self proclaimed white man. All right, none of them are good. All of them are wicked, right? Because they were born to be the wicked. Okay, let, let me let me um, read right. that um, eighty three a little bit more. So like before yep. I jump into this, yep. Psalms eighty three and verse four. All right, back in the KJV, it says they have said, "Come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance." So they're trying to take you out, right? They, and how how, how are they doing it now? You know, Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. You know, t turn the men gay. You know, yep, yep, yep. this is exactly what it is. Uh, t turn them into the alphabet. Mm -hmm. Salaki, you know, stammering lip. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, and whenever you you do that, you cut off a nation. You know, just like uh. uh how about Shimei Shai is going to do to Esau, as it says in Isaiah chapter 21. You know, mm -hmm. it's, going, it's going to uproot the father, the... It's like it. Yep. You, think about, <laughs> you think about the precept? No, nah, I was thinking about that precept. Con, Isaiah let get, let 14. A, let me get a precept for what you just said real quick. Con, because the scriptures, like the scriptures say, I believe that's in um, Luke or Matthew, right? Talking about binding a strong man. Uh, that's, yeah. Uh, let me see. That's in Mark 2. Mm-hmm. You know, how do you enter a strong man's house? Right. This is a uh, Mark three and twenty seven. Yep. It says, uh, it says, no man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Right. And you know the effemi uh, effeminization, if you will, that's even a word, the 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 effemin effeminization. All right, of the so called. Uh, uh, Israel or the, of the Israelite man is a uh, uh, aspect of binding that strong man. That and putting him out the house. Right, putting him out the house. You know, because whenever you remove him, mm -hmm. you know, you 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 have no protection. That's what's wrong with these women of today. Mm -hmm. You know, they 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 don't have two brain cells to rub together because how about Shimei Asha didn't impute her wisdom. Mm -hmm. All right, but she she took the wisdom out the house. Now, uh, uh, Esau can go in there and tell her little boy, oh, it's okay to be, you know, the, the other sex. Mm -hmm. You know, what? But, so like, you got a little bit more on that? Kind. It says, well, actually, that was, that was all on that. Kind. All right, that was all on that. All right, so uh, over here in this Isaiah, um, chapter 14, um, uh, verse 21, because... Yahweh Shimei Shai has already uh, uh, said that he would do this to Esau, 
you know, but Esau's trying try, trying to do it to us on this side. All right? But this is what how about Shemiah said. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 21 it says, "Prepare slaughter for his children, uh, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities." Okay? And how do you fill the face of the world with cities? Through the man. All right, because the woman, she ain't got it. Um, verse um, 22, it says, For I will rise up against them, saith the how about Shimei of you Sabaoth, know, and cut off from Babylon uh, the remnant and son and nephew, uh, saith the how about Shimei of Shai. All right? So, uh, how about Shimei Al Shai? It's going to do away with the men. All right. We just read that. Uh, Twenty-seven. That's the, that's the formula. You know what I mean? Not only was that used against us, <laughs> shit. but that shit is going to be used against you other nations. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon three and ten. Specifically, the nation of Edom. All right. So like, and then put this one last precept. Not, you good, brother? You know, and that's prophecy. You know. Bob Kushai. Well, here it is. Y'all about Shimei Al Shai with the water. <laughs> it says but the ungodly shall be punished well this is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse 10 it says but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations uh, which have neglected the righteous and forsaken Yahweh by Shimei because that's, that's what they want to do to us mm -hmm. so that's their own imagination that's their own hallucination alright All right? Uh, so, like, let, let me hit the point. Um, it says, "For whoso despises of wisdom and and nurture, he he is miserable; their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable." You know, that's Esau in the, in a nutshell. It says, "Their wives are foolish, and their children wicked." It says, "Their offspring is cursed; therefore, blessed is the barren that." Is um, that is undefiled, which hath not known the sinful bed. All right. It says she shall be, she shall have fruit in the visitations of souls. Yeah. So whenever we come down from the chariots, you know, uh, uh, those women that hasn't been uh, popped on this side, mm -hmm. you know, th those ones that are virgins. All right, they're going to be uh, remembered. <laughs> In the visitation of souls, all right. Whenever it's time to get busy and to repopulate the earth, Come. all right. Come. But after that, they're going in chains. Right. <laughs> they, they ain't going to enjoy that. Right. Also going into you know the elect, you know, which is why Apostle Paul said you know present yourself as a chaste virgin, chaste virgin, or chaste yeah. chaste virgin, right? That unspotted you know uh, woman, you know. You got it. Not uh. That was the point on that. Come. You got it back in the 83. Yep. Uh, Psalms 83 and 5. It says, For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarenes. So isn't that's the known world at that time. Mm -hmm. That's most of the known world. You know, and, and uh, Israel was a small nation. To start off with. Right. You know, but everybody in the whole world got to out with you. Mm -hmm. You know, because we had them in captivity. In some point, in well, in King David. King David had them in captivity. Right. You know, and they still look upon that to this day. Whenever you see a Hamite, he don't like you. That's not your brother. That's not your friend. Whenever you see a Moab or, or a Moabite or Ammonite, or a Jephite, they might think they may be cool, but they ain't cool. How about Shimei Al Shai has a, a alt with them as well? Mm. You know, even though he made their spirits to be exactly what they are. You got some? Yep. This is a uh, Romans the eighth chapter in the sixth verse. It says, "For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace." Right? And and, and like the brother's going into. 
all right, the reason we're at such enmity with the other nations because all the other nations are operating under a carnal mind. They're operating under a carnal mentality, all right, and we're a spiritual people, you know, specifically, you know, the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, the, the Israel of the Most High, all right, we operate in the spirit, you know, and the scriptures also talk about the law being spiritual, you know, so as we meditate on the law, as we begin to understand, you know, the importance, you know, of operating within, you know, the, the, the guidelines, you know, uh, of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, all right, we begin to realize, <laughs> you know, how much death, all right, Esau, Edom, and these other nations have caused, all right, and they've caused it by, by operating, all right, carnally, <coughs> you know, and that's what's putting us, you know, uh, at, at, at odds with one another. You know that that makes me think of uh that makes me think of um what is it Sirach Sirach where uh thirty is it thirty three or, or thirty four th I think it's thirty three where it talks about you know uh, the Lord created everything in twos you know the righteous yeah. the righteous against the wicked, the wicked and the wicked you know so forth and so on you know what I mean the righteous being the elect of the nation of Israel right the nation of Israel all right and, and the wicked you know being everybody else yeah. You know, and Baba Kusha, if I may say, mm -hmm. you know, uh, uh, if you if you're comparing, you know, the nation of Israel, you know, uh, what did he say at the beginning to Abraham? He said, "Your seed shall be as the sand of the sea." All right. Now we're not at the pinnacle yet. All right, but even today, you know, there is so many Jake scattered throughout all the world. You know. The counterpart to that is that the other nations, you know, mm -hmm. it has to be, you know, two and two. You know, balance. it has to be complete balance. Right, right, right. All right? So just as many it is as us as as many it is for every other nation. All right? And how about Shimei Al-Shai is going to judge them too. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> At the beginning of the lesson, that's what the lesson is. Mm -hmm. All right? Everybody's going to have to appear before the judgment of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shai. All right, whether they just popped out the nut, they still going to have to appear. They're going to have to be there. <laughs> right, right. You know, but Done. you got it. So like, Did you want to keep going to Psalm 33? That's pretty much everything on that Psalm 33. Uh, uh, and and, and uh, another thing is uh, judgment shall begin at the house of Israel. That's right. You know, so... We getting on these other nations, but this lesson is pivoted point at Jake because how about Shimei Al Shai is going to use Esau as a whipping stick to judge <coughs> you? All right, Baba Kusha, um, you got it. What were you thinking? I was I was thinking a lot. <laughs> I was thinking about First Peter. Psalm seventeen. I'm holding the Psalm Peter's. seventeen. I'm holding First Peter. All right, cut. Um, I'm thinking about um, since we're going into Jake, uh, Luke chapter nineteen. But okay. yeah, okay. I'll hold that because yeah, how Shai said it blatantly. You know, mm -hmm. you know, if they wish that I do not reign over them, you know, and and that's what Jake's doing right now. These other camps. Yep. You got yeah, I didn't cut you off, bro. You know, these other other camps, you know, these these so-called Israelites, all right, IUIC, one by any Howard Shad going fucking bonkers. Mm -hmm. All right? Y'all, <laughs> whoo. Yep. I got to hold my tongue, man. Yep. Hey, and, and, and face the east. Yep. All right? Controversy, man. That's mm -hmm. Y'all trying to do this for likes, man. Do this for the truth's sake, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all are idiots. You how about Shimei Al-Shai is going to dust you off, man. It's going to be a joyous occasion. I'm going to pop a bottle. Right. Because really what they're doing when they do that, you know, when you're doing it for your own... Filthy lucre's sake. Filthy lucre's sake. Really what you're doing is you're, you're disrespecting the sacrifice that you how I made. And then you're act also marking yourself. Mm -hmm. you know, what, what is it? Mark them that cause division. All right, y'all are causing division in the nation of Israel. Yep. All right, this is the time for us to come together under one banner. Yep. All right, and that's Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai. All right, Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai is going to do away with you niggas, man. And that's the spirit, man. Call loyal like Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai.
coming. Yo, hey, but it's okay. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep on doing it, because somebody got to do it. Then call hello, I'm like, how about you, man? I'm not in that seat. All right? But you got it. It's like it. No one talked about them niggas getting them shine. Fuck that shit. This is uh, First Peter? Kind. Uh, four. Is, yep. First Peter 4. And I'll start at verse 17. It says, For the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it begin first at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? So... Those that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai, not keeping the law of the commandments yeah. to the best of their capability. Right. You know, those ones that are coming up in 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 slandering the name of Yahweh by Shemiah and Shai, when you know the name, you know the name, man. You know? Yeah. And you know and, and another thing, you don't teach your con congregation. You know you 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 backbite do everything that you can to 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 hold Israel back. It's like I bit my cheek. Uh, to hold Israel back, you know. Yeah, how about Shimei Ashai is gonna do away with you, man? Because you're taking his name into your mouth, but you but you're giving a, a a bad report, and the angels are watching. And if I can add that gospel again, that that gospel is a specific doctrine. Like the brother is breaking down, the name is a part of the doctrine. All right, and and that's just one aspect that that Jake is, is uh, you know, not, uh, disregarding. All right, and that's the most important thing. All right, the name. All right, but little things as well. All right, you know, wearing you know niggas wearing hats and shit. You know, prophesying. You know. Uh, you know, charging people for breakdowns, all this little shit, bro. All that shit is gonna have to be accounted for, you know, when the time comes. All right, and that's just shit chills down you niggas' spines, man. It really should, <laughs> bro. Know? Like, like I can't. When I came into the truth, man, IUIC was doing that, bro. I'm gonna call you out. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all was doing that, bro. Y'all was like, uh, if you pay twenty five ninety nine, you can get the rest of the breakdown. Nigga, what, bro? It says buy the word, uh, uh, buy the word and sell it not, bro. Yeah. How do you buy it by toiling? Yeah. All right, yeah. by your time. Yeah. You know, Sirach chapter thirty-eight, verse twenty-four. You know, that's a spirit of Esau. That's spirit of Esau because when, because you know, for example, you know, you go, you trying to get into the news, you go to a damn news website, they give, <laughs> they give you one, one paragraph. To scroll down, you gotta pay. Uh, you gotta subscribe for nine ninety nine a fucking month for for a damn article. Hey. So that's really the spirit of the damn devil, man. Like, what the hell is wrong with you niggas? Shit, and and just to get that precept real quick, you know, because I brought it out. Uh, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter thirty eight, verse twenty four. It says, "The wisdom of a learned man uh, uh, cometh by opportunity of leisure, and he." That hath little business shall become wise. All right, he that he that has little business, he that doesn't have a lot going on. All right, shall become wise. You know, but with you, with a man coming off the street, you know, someone new into this, you know, you giving half breakdowns. That's not cool. That's not cool at all, man. Right. We weren't even supposed to get on them, man. Them niggas, bro. Mm -hmm. So like it. Let's, let's, let's get back in the lesson, man. <coughs> Come on, 1 Peter 4 and verse, seven, uh, verse 18. It says, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High Commit the keeping of their souls to him in well doing as unto a faithful creator. As as unto a faithful creator. As as unto Yahweh by Shimi Al Shai. You know? Mm -hmm. Right. You want me to read verse 18 again? Baba Kusha. Khan. First Peter 4 and 18. It says, And if the righteous scarcely be saved, mm -hmm. where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Because the righteous are being scarcely saved. We don't care about anyone else. 
Yeah, how about Shimmy on Shy don't care about anyone because what was that? Uh, uh, um, you standing stiffly for your how about Shimmy on Shy? Mm -hmm. You know, loosely paraphrasing. Yeah, those that stand stiffly. Those that stand stand stiffly for, for your how about Shimmy on Shy will be saved. Loosely, loosely paraphrasing. Everybody else does not fit the bill. They don't fit the prophecies. Okay, if you're going off concerning prophecies, you don't fit the bill. Yep. This is a Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, and uh, verse 9. Okay. It says, it's, it's a bang. It's it says, <laughs> they that put their trust, trust in, in him, him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. Right, so it's all about the elect of the nation of Israel at the end of the day, all right. And like it says, you know, for such as be faithful in love, what is love according to the scriptures? Love is keeping, keeping the commandments, commandments, right? And the commandments isn't just all right. All the all the laws, all right, in in the in the books of Moses, no, right? It's the whole scroll, <laughs> right? It's the right? whole book, right? Like in, like we just read in First Peter, obeying the gospel, all right, uh, uh, obeying the doctrine. The set of instructions that were passed down, all right, from Yahweh to the apostles, <coughs> all right, which we have been given, you know, access to again in these days. Baba Kusha, uh, you went at Wisdom of Solomon, so you might as well go to four. Mm -hmm. go, 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 to, go to four and 15, I perceive. Ten. You know? Yep. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon, four and 15, it says, This the people saw and understood it not. Neither they laid up this in their minds, that his grace and mercy is with his saints, and that he hath respect unto his chosen. So he don't care about anybody else. I know, sorry, I got that Texas draw. All right, he don't care. He don't care about anybody else. He don't, hey, if you're a sinner, all right, you better repent. You better turn from your wicked ways. All right, but we all fall short. Before the judgment seat, yeah, how about Shimmy or Shai? All right, but if you know better, you do better. All right, don't 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 just uh, I'm just gonna do me and do this and da da da. Nah, nigga, you gonna be a nigga. You gonna die like a nigga, and uh, I see your ass into the kingdom because you gonna be a nutsack, baby. Yep. Quick one, <laughs> quick one. Go uh, ahead. Psalms ninety sixteen. It says the Lord is known by the judgment which He executeth. Right, going into what we're talking about. All right, the Lord's track record speaks for him, speaks for itself. All right, the Lord is going to save who he wants to save. The Lord is going to choose and care for who, who he wants to choose. Noah is a prime <clears throat> example of that. Yep. The Lord chose one man in his household and killed the rest of the planet Earth. All right, That's drowned it. the rest of the planet Earth. All right, that is recorded in the scriptures. That is the power that we serve. All right, and, and again, like I said, the, the, the judgments... That are recorded in the scriptures speak for themselves, man. This is how we get a, a glimpse into the mind of how about some young shot. Bro, look at what he said to Moses. He said, I would I would just kill off the nation and start it back yep. through you. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's right. Damn, bro. Yep. Oh man. Uh bro. Yep. Baba Kusha, uh, uh, Psalms 37 and 28. Oh yeah. That's, yeah. Cause big. cause that's gonna go hand in hand with that 9 and 16. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, Psalms 37 and uh, 28. Um, <laughs> I'll start at verse 26. Yeah, you can start at 26. <laughs> it says, He is ever merciful and lendeth, and his seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. Now, that's talking about the elect. That's talking about those that are keeping the law, such as commandments and the best of their capability. Mm -hmm. Continue. It says, for Yahweh loveth judgment. Mm. <laughs> Let me read that again. It says, for Yahweh... Say it with body. Say it with body. <laughs> for Yahweh loveth judgment and forsaketh not his saints. And he forsaketh not his saints. You know why? Because they are found faithful in love for Yahweh by Shimei All right? They ain't uh, uh, um, going into these other doctrines. They're, they're not calling upon Serapis Christus. They ain't calling upon who the world knows is Jesus Christ, all right? They're calling upon you, how about Shimei Shai, all right? And, and they're prophesying in faith, faith, 
All right, because above all things, without faith, you can't please him. So you can't be a part of the elect if you don't have faith. It's like it. Yep. You got it. That's what it's all about on this side, man. It's about faith. Um, it says, it says, for the love, Lord, for the Lord loveth judgment, and forsaketh not his saints. They are preserved forever, but the seed of the wicked shall be cut off. But the seed of the wicked shall be cut off, and the wicked can be two thirds. You know, the wicked is these other nations. The wicked is Esau, Edom, first and foremost, because that bitch-ass nigga needs to go. Mm. Don't get me started. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, by Shimei Arshai is going to set everything aright. Everybody's going to have to appear before that judgment seat. The world will be judged by righteous men, all right? And through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimei Arshai, I pray that this was edifying unto, unto the elect. All right, so with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and the apostles at Great Millstone, the water, the water, the water, Shalom.